The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Where is that woman? I distinctly told her I would be here at 10 o'clock. Well, Friday's her day to drive the kids to school, but I can't imagine what's keeping her so long. Is there a problem? I want to discuss this countercheck she signed at Dee Dee's dress shop. Apparently, she thought because I was out of town, I wouldn't find out about it. Oh, now, Mr. Mooney, I'm sure she wouldn't try to keep anything from you. Oh, no? Oh, no. Well, just listen to this. Dear cashier, be a love and clear this before you know who gets back. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? <laughs> Just relax. Sit down. Oh, how I envy other bankers. I have Lucille Carmichael's account. All they have to worry about is shortages, inflation, and being held up. <laughs> Well, it's about time, Mrs. Carmichael. Lucy, where have you been? I had the most marvelous flat tire. Oh. <laughs> I want to discuss the this The handsomest, check. most charming man in the world stopped and fixed it for me. Oh, well, that was a lucky little puncher. He's a bachelor, he drives the most beautiful sports car, and he's so, so... Italian. Now, what I want to know is what you thought you were doing when you made this ridiculous notation on the bib. Or what's the matter with your hand? That's the one he kissed. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the one that signed this check behind my back. Lucy, what's his name? Umberto Fabriani. Umberto Fabriani. <laughs> now, this notation, Umberto Fabriani, the Italian millionaire who just moved into town? Millionaire? He's a millionaire? Oh, several times over. You've heard of him, Mr. Mooney? Who hasn't heard of the firm Fabriani and Fabriani? Oh, good, there's two of them. Dibs on the other one. Huh? <laughs> Mrs. Bagley, the other one is Umberto's father. He's quite old. Is he under a hundred? <laughs> I have been trying to meet him for a week to get their business for my bank. Now, would you introduce me? Well, now, I might casually bring up your name at dinner if there's a lull in the conversation. You're having dinner with him? <laughs> well, he doesn't speak much English, but I think he asked me for dinner and the opera. Oh, when? 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 Well, when? I'm not when? quite sure. Uh, he said, Dama, or Dom, Domina, or Domine, uh, uh, or something uh, 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 like uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, Domenica? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, Domenica means Sunday. Sunday! Thank you. Hey, where'd you learn to speak Italian? Oh, I picked up a few words in the army. <laughs> oh. <coughs> now, now, Mrs. Carlos. <laughs> How about it? Would you arrange a meeting for me? Well, I don't know. Say please. <laughs> please. Say pretty please. <laughs> pretty please. <laughs> Fabriani. That means good evening. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, no capisco. That means I don't understand. <laughs> well, that's gonna come in handy. <laughs> Go on. Well, that's all I learned so far. Well, at the rate you're going, you're not gonna be able to speak Italian by Sunday night. Well, I'm trying, Viv. I'm studying very hard. And I'm tired, you know. I don't blame the kids for not wanting to do their homework. <laughs> Who's that? You, you get it, will you? Yeah. 
Signora Carmichael. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you can't wait. Uh, you're supposed to be here Sunday. <laughs> Mi dispiace, ma non capisco l'inglese. Uh, Sunday. Uh, uh, Sunday. Uh, Dominica. Dominica. <laughs> Dominica. No, no, Dominica. I say domani. Domani? Eh, domani, uh, domani, come si dice in inglese domani? Uh, oh, tomorrow. Eh? Now look, yesterday you asked Signora Carmichael to go and have dinner with you and see the opera tomorrow, and that is today. So you've certainly... Oh, okay. oh, uh, oh well, um, she's upstairs changing her clothes. <laughs> you go out and take a little walk and come back in about ten minutes, huh? Oh, grazie, <laughs> grazie. <laughs> I wait. Oh no, you can't wait here. Oh, you know, capisco. No capisco. No, no, no capisco. capisco no. Huh? <laughs> Oh, mi scusi, molto piacere, signora. Uh, Lucy Lay, I'll take him to the itchin' K while you amscray up the air stay and get estray. Come, come. Oh, you're Italian. I was speaking Spanish. Kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> Come on, go out to the kitchen with me. The kitchen? The kitchen? I'll fix you an espresso while you're waiting. Oh, espresso. Uh-huh, espresso. No, grazie. <laughs> no espresso. <laughs> car. Uh, uh, car. Uh, 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 she said that you have a beautiful car. Would you take it outside? Uh, take me outside. No capisco. No ca car, no, no capisco car. Uh, 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 beep, beep. L'automobile. L'automobile? Oh, take me outside show me your l'automobile. <laughs> Lucy says you have a marvelous l'automobile. I've always wanted to see an Italian Oh, no, 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 no. Ho preso un taxi. Ah! 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 Cine Antonio, costolette di agnello o maiale arrosto con patate, eh? Oh, well, it, it, it's hard to choose. They all sound so yummy. <laughs> uh, you order for me. 
you, you for me. You, ah. you, you order for me. Con piacere, con piacere. Tony. Ah, sì, sì, signor Gabbiani. Tony, facciamo presto perché dobbiamo andare all'opera. Sì, sì. Eh. Due polpi fritti, tortellini alla bolognese e maiale arrosto. Eh? <ride> I'm taking off my gloves. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Bonus Sarah. Wanna say it? You have a very nice name, Umberto. Umberto. <laughs> Umberto. <laughs> Umberto Fabriani. Umberto Fabriani. <laughs> I did it. Umberto Fabriani. <laughs> can call me Lucy, me, Lucy. Ah, uh, in Italiano, Lucia. Bellissimo. Ah, Lucia. Sì. Due polpe fritte. Ecco. Oh. Ecco. <laughs> Come sono i polpi? Mm. Buonissimi. Mmm, mm. my. Mm. This is so delicious. It has a marvelous flavor. It's very interesting. Most Americans don't like fried octopus. Mrs. Carmichael, good evening. So nice to see you. Oh, hi, Mr. Mooney. Uh, Signor Umberto Fabriani, Signor Theodore Mooney. <laughs> Buonasera. Piacere di conoscerla. Molto piacere, Signor Mooney. Uh, <laughs> prego, prego. Grazie. Mr. Mooney, mm. Umberto and I are having a little language problem. Would you like to join us and act as interpreter <laughs> if you promise not to talk about business? I promise. Oh, oh, vi farò da interprete. Oh, benissimo. Meno male che è arrivato lei. No. Senta, vuol dire alla signora che è una delle donne più simpatiche che abbia mai conosciuto. I think you're one of the most fascinating women he's ever met. Really? Well, you tell him I think he's the most charming man I ever met. La signora dice lo stesso di lei. Grazie. Grazie. E le dica che ha gli occhi azzurri come il Mediterraneo. What did he say? He says you have eyes as blue as the Mediterranean. Oh. They aren't that blue. Le dice che non so. Oh, uh, Mr. Mooney, <clears throat> tell him that I am studying Italian so we can have some nice long talks together and get to know each other better. Oh. Sta studiando l'italiano. Oh. Uh, a proposito, se ha bisogno di me, sono alla Danfield Bank. Oh, grazie. I didn't say anything about the Danfield Bank. You promise not to talk business. You're a bilingual sneak. <laughs> Mia moglie ed io saremo felicissimi di avervi per cena al nostro club stasera. Oh, grazie, volentieri, ma se la signora Carmichael è d'accordo. What? Well, what are you talking about? 
Oh, well, I asked him if the two of you would care to join Irma and myself at the country club tonight. It's our annual St. Patrick's Day dance. And he said it would be entirely up to you. Well, uh, you know, it might be fun to go to the St. Patrick's Day dance. Oh, good, good, good. La signora dice, d'accordo possiamo andare al club. Oh, benissimo, yeah. bene, bene. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can hardly wait to see the looks on the women's faces when I walk in that dance with him. Anche le non vede l'ora. Oh, yeah. Buonissimo. Oh, oh, may I? Oh, Belize! Uh, thanks a lot. You uh, certainly fix things up fine. Well, I didn't mean to. Oh, me. Yeah, sí. No, no, no. Per posso neanche cambiarmi perché l'altro abito da sera è l'Oscar Cleaners. Well, what did he say? What did he say? Well, he says he can't go to the dance now. His other tuxedo is at Oscar's Cleaners. Oh, well, why don't we go to the cleaners and get his suit? He can wait here. We'll be back in a jiffy. They won't be open this late. Well, now, Oscar stays open late lots of nights. Oh, tell what I said. Uh, uh, Senor Capriani. I will tell him what you're going to do. Oh, good, good, good. Yes. Come along, come okay. along. Hurry. We'll okay. get out. Wait. Arrivederci. Oh. It's closed. It can't be closed. Well, it is. Oscar stays open late. Plenty of time. Well, he does. Well, thanks to you, the bank can probably wave bye-bye to a million dollars worth of business. Well, let's not panic, Mr. Mooney. Don't tell me when to panic! <laughs> Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what we can do. We can call Oscar at home. I've known him for years, and I'm sure he'll be glad to come down here and open it up for us. All right, all right. Uh, what's his home phone number? Well, I don't know, but it must be in the book. There's a phone. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. What's his name? Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> uh, Oscar what? Uh, Oscar, uh, uh, Oscar the Cleaner. <laughs> cleaner can hardly be his last name. Now, you've known him for years. You must remember his name. Now, think, 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 think. Uh, uh, Oscar, uh, Oscar... Think, think! I think. am! Think. Oscar, uh... Yes, no, all right, all right, all right. Now, 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 now t t t take it easy. We'll work this out now. Now, take it easy. Now, just concentrate. All right. Now, concentrate? Yes. All right. Now, you have some dresses that need cleaning, and you go into the shop. I go into his shop. Yeah. You say, hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. You put the cleaning on the counter. I put the cleaning on the counter. And then you say, how's Mrs.? How's Mrs.? He's not married. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We'll, we'll try again. We'll try. Yeah. Now, uh, he gives you the laundry you left last week. I didn't leave any laundry last week. Pretend you left All right. <laughs> All right, I All right. left some laundry All right. last yes. week. All right, now, you write him a check. I write him a check. Payable to? Payable to? Oscar. Oscar. I always pay cash. Oh, <laughs> you're not thinking. I am too thinking. Well, well. I to me, he's always been Oscar the Cleaner. Oscar, that's a... Who? Uh, I can't help not knowing his last name. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. What, what? Hey, I know how we can find out his last name. The florist ought to know. Why don't you call him? Good. What's his name? Merle. 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 Merle what? Merle the florist. <laughs> Why do I ever listen to you? All right? All right, I'll handle this. There's one person in this town who knows everybody's name. All we have to do is call George the Mailman. 
What are you doing? Well, I thought maybe I could find his name on something. Good thinking. Hey, huh? there's a bowling trophy on the shelf. That's got to have his name on it. Well, well, well. Yeah. Oh, the printing is too small. I can't read it. Oh, for heaven's sake, for heaven's sake. Uh, See it back there? Yeah. Uh, Can you read it? I could if this was a bifocal window. <laughs> I'll call Viv at home. Uh, now, look, if we can't read it from here, she certainly can't read it from your phone. I meant that I'll have her bring our binoculars. Give me a dime. Oh, binoculars? Yes. Oh, there they are. There's a dime. I got it. I got it, Mr. Mooney. Oscar's last name is Steigers. Look it up in the book. Hey, uh, are you sure that's his name? Look for yourself. All right. Ah! Uh, just a minute. Oh, Mrs. Carmichael, you've done it again. His name isn't Oscar Steigers. That's the name of his bowling team. Oscar's Tigers! Well, call Chicago. Chicago? Yes, yes, the National Bowling Company. That's their trophy, and they don't know the names of all the bowlers that were on the team. In Chicago? Yes, go call them. I, I don't have enough change to call Chicago. Well, go to the bank and get some. Yeah. And well, hurry. All right, I'll hurry. Oh, I sure want to get to that St. Patrick's Day dance. I know. <laughs> hey. Huh. Viv, look. Oscar left his skylight open. So? Uh -oh. Have we still got that tow rope in the back of the car? We have, and not on your life. <laughs> okay, then, you lower me. I'm not gonna be on either end of that rope. Oh, Bib. Now, we could do that. It's so important for me to get his suit out. Oh, look who's here. Bona Sarah. Buonasera. Tony DeBello's suit. Well, oh. don't you worry. We're going to get your suit. Uh, uh, Bona Sera. Oh, knock it off. Then. <laughs> Come with me now. I could find were nickels. <laughs> Coming out of the bank, the sack broke. Oh, well, we don't need them now. You don't need them? No, no. Lucy's up on the roof. On the roof? With Umberto. Umberto? Yes, he's gonna lower her through the skylight on a long rope. Skylight? Yeah, what do you... La signora Carmichael è caduta in una vasca di tintura verde. Andiamo, andiamo, venga, venga. venga. What'd he say? What'd he say? He said, Mrs. Carmichael fell into a vat of green dye. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael? St. Patrick's
Independence Day, Dad. <laughs> Where is that woman? I distinctly told her I would be here at 10 o'clock. Well, Friday's her day to drive the kids to school, but I can't imagine what's keeping her so long. Is there a problem? I want to discuss this countercheck she signed at Dee Dee's dress shop. Apparently, she thought because I was out of town, I wouldn't find out about it. Oh, now, Mr. Mooney, I'm sure she wouldn't try to keep anything from you. Oh, no? Oh, no. Well, just listen to this. Dear cashier, be a love and clear this before you know who gets back. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? Just relax. Sit down. Oh, how I envy other bankers. I have Lucille Carmichael's account. All they have to worry about is shortages, inflation, and being held up. <laughs> Well, it's about time, Mrs. Carmichael. Lucy, where have you been? I had the most marvelous flat tire. <laughs> I want to discuss the this The handsomest, tent. most charming man in the world stopped and fixed it for me. Oh, well, that was a lucky little puncture. He's a bachelor, he drives the most beautiful sports car, and he's so, so... Italian. Now, what I want to know is what you thought you were doing when you made this ridiculous notation on the bib, or what's the matter with your hand? That's the one he kissed. <laughs> it's also the one that signed this check behind my back. Lucy, what's his name? Umberto Fabriani. Umberto Fabriani. <laughs> now this notation, Umberto. Um,